Okay, this is how we uh, install the Interfab epoxy kit. The uh, first thing you want to do is uh, make sure that your uh, diving board is aligned correctly to the uh, pool center line and that you have the correct board overhang for the uh, type and uh, length of board that you're installing. In this case, we're installing a six foot board and on this pool, the overhang is 18 inches. All right. And of course, you want to uh, measure the pool and make sure that it meets all the other specifications. Um, then, taking a felt pen, you want to use the uh, base itself, let me zoom in a little bit, as a template. And then go ahead and uh, mark the locations for all the uh, bolt holes, just like that. Okay. Now when you've got that done, just go ahead and slide the diving board out of the way. All right, now we're going to uh, drill the holes. What you're going to need is a, um, is a hammer uh, drill, and a, in this case we're going to use a uh, 9 16 masonry bit. And uh, for these half inch bolts, we're going to go ahead and we're going to uh, measure down 4 and 1 quarter inches and put on a piece of tape just like that so we know where to stop drilling. All right. Then what we want to do is take that drill and have it as straight up and down or as perpendicular to that uh, deck as we can get it and go ahead and, and drill the hole. Just like that. Okay. Now, once we've got it drilled, in order for these uh, hammer capsules to work correctly, we need to have all the dust and dirt out of that uh, hole. So what we suggest you do is bring some compressed air and uh, just uh, stick it in there and uh, keep going at it till you get it nice and clean. Yeah, just like that. Okay. Now what we want to do is uh, repeat that process for the uh, other three holes. Okay, now that we've got the uh, four holes drilled, um, what we want to do is, um, is uh, take a hammer capsule. Now, with this kit, you get four hammer capsules and you get four um, six-inch all threads. Now, the hammer capsules themselves, let me zoom in, are directional. At the bottom, there's a little tiny arrow that points down. Now, that end goes into the hole. So what you do is you just simply put that arrow in, drop it into the hole, just like that. Perfect. And then what you want to do is grab one of your all threads. But what you, would, what you need to do is take one of the nuts that comes with the stand and uh, go ahead and just put it on the end of the uh, all thread just like that so that it sticks up above the uh, threads. If you whack on that thing with a hammer, you're going to damage the end of the uh, all threads and you'll never be able to get the nuts back on. So once you have that, you just position it directly over the uh, all thread and then gently tap it in until it hits the bottom. Just like that. And then you go ahead and just repeat that process for the uh, other, other three bolts. Okay, now we've got our uh, four bolts and into the uh, four hammer capsules in the deck and we're ready to uh, place the uh, stand back over. Now it's important to note too that when, you, uh, when you're drilling the holes for the, uh, for the bolts that you do not drill completely through the deck. If you do that, the uh, hammer capsules won't work. Okay, now we suggest that you uh, go ahead and place the stand over the bolts um, that are inside the hammer capsules before they have a chance to uh, completely cure. Uh, the curing time is uh, relative to the outdoor temperature and uh, there's a uh, chart that comes with the uh, hammer capsules that you can refer to. Uh, the reason we do this, if the, uh, if the bolts aren't perp uh, perfectly straight up and down uh, or a little bit misaligned, uh, you still have a chance to get the stand over them. Once they cure, it can be very, very difficult if, uh, to, to get that stand over. So once the stand is over and then once they've, uh, the bolts are fully cured, then what you want to do is just take the bolts that come with the stand and uh, place them over the, uh, the, the bolts, just like that, the nuts, uh, per the instructions that come with the stand. 
and then um, snug them down, tighten them up per the, uh, per the specs for that particular stand. And that's how we uh, install the epoxy kit for, uh, for Interfab.